Hi everyone, welcome back. So today is Inktober Day, uh, is it 13? Yes, 13. Yesterday was, um, and on day 12, the prompt was worry. And I really didn't feel like doing any kind of portraits with emotion. And today is another one like that, but I've come up with something for today. But yesterday for um, worry, I actually just did a leaf, and um, my rationalization for this leaf was that um, I'm worried that winter is coming so fast. <laughs> okay, so that's my worry. Um, but today, for day 13, the prompt is scared. So I think I'm going to do a haunted house or some sort of a Halloween scene. Um, so that's what I will do with that. Now, a couple things regarding yesterday's sketchbook video. Um, first of all, I got to tell you what happened to me yesterday. I was doing some homework and I had to, um, refill a pen and I grabbed my 54th Massachusetts Noodler's ink bottle and I began to fill it and it flipped over and I lost half a bottle across my table while I had all those sketchbooks out, right? Um, I was like grabbing sponges and paper towel. My hands were blue. In fact, they're still kind of a weird shade of gray. But um, this book that I had shown you yesterday, this handmade book, this book was not cheap. It was, I don't know, like $44 or something like that. It's not something I would buy all the time. But look what I did to the front of it. It's supposed to be this way. I don't even know if that's the front. Now it's the back. <laughs> but um, that's the best I could clean clean off. I was lucky that there wasn't more. So um, another thing that I wanted to tell you, that Moleskine book I said was 140-pound paper. It's actually 135-pound, 200 GSM paper. And this large mixed media book that I showed you, this 11 by 14 Strathmore book. I'm sitting too close to the camera. <laughs> this book was mixed media paper, and um, I believe it's a 90 pound paper, but it's 100% cotton, which is why I've been successful putting watercolor on it. Um, so I wanted to tell you that also. Um, and... I believe that was it on the books. Yeah, um, can't think of anything else that I wanted to tell you on those. I did post a link in yesterday's description for every single book that I went over except the ones that I bought at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I did not link those. I figure you can go to the store and look at whatever you want to look at. But the ones that I got on Amazon, which is my my typical shopping spot, <laughs> um, I linked all of those. Also, I do remember one other thing. That Pentelic book that I love, the blue one that I'm always using, um, this book, um, I went on to Pentelic.com, and they do sell a larger one of these books. Actually, two larger ones. One is 7 by 10 or 7 by 11 Seven and a half by eleven. Another one is eight and a half by eleven. So um, they also had a link to all of the places that you could buy their books at. There had to be probably close to twenty, if not more, um, links to different art stores that sell their products, and not one of them sell that book. So I left an email with Pentalic, and I'm hopeful that they'll get back to me today. Um, I want to want to get one of those books so that I can also review that. And um, a lot of you have told me that you've gone and bought these books, and I think you're really going to like them. Um, I think only one person told me they already had it in possession, so but they hadn't tried it yet. So um, you're going to enjoy these books. At least I do. It's my experience. But then again, not everybody loves cotton paper. You know, some people love Arches paper. I absolutely cannot stand Arches paper. It is so dry 
that the paper cracks over time. And I think that there may be a lack of sizing in it. Oh, that's one other thing I wanted to tell you about um, this book. The one uh, global arts book that was handmade. I'm sorry, my chair's squeaking and I'm so close. I keep leaning back. Um, this book was handmade. Uh, the person that I, I, I got done with my video and I said something about it. The person who... I watched the video on who said that she wasn't super happy with it was someone who said that she felt that there was not enough sizing in this book. So she added sizing by, I think she just mixed a mixture of glue and watered it down and added that to it. Or I forget how she did it, but I'll see if it's a lot like Arches paper, then I'm going to do the same thing. It does feel very dry, but, um, a couple of you have asked for different videos also, um, wanting me to do videos when I use this book and when I start the Moleskin book, and I will do videos on them. Usually my first, my first experience with the book is not my truest experience with a book. I have to use it a few times before I really get a feel for whether or not I truly like it completely, so... Um, but I'll keep you posted, and I will do paintings. Um, I'll give you my first impression and then my overall impression of both of those books, as well as the Mixed Media Strathmore book. Um, and what else? I think that may cover everything. Oh, the other one, the other request yesterday was that um, I do a sketchbook walkthrough video. And I have no problem doing that. I've only been using sketchbooks for a couple of years, so I don't have a lot of them because I also paint. And when my commissions go up, um, or I'm just in the mood to paint and get some things up on my website, then I do that. I mean, I have a lot of oil paintings up here and over there, and uh, I can show you some of those sometime too. Maybe I'll do a video on those and show you a few of my oil paintings. Um, and my pastels and but I will do a sketchbook walkthrough um I've got a few sketchbooks I guess that I can show you some some photos from so um I can do that and I will do that Inktober's keeping me pretty busy I'm hoping I can make it through the whole month I'm almost halfway now so um let's hope but there's been three times now that I've missed a day and had to make it up the morning of the following day, and today was no exception. Um, I just haven't, you know, I haven't been feeling well lately, so I've been getting kind of behind, but then this leaf was kind of a cop-out for the worry thing, so, um, but today I will be on track with Scared, and then we will go from there, and, um, and I'll get on with those other videos. So let's get started on Inktober Day 13, Scared. <music>
So here is my day 13 scared. Everybody have a great day. Now on to day 14 and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.